Good day, Sony Fortunato from the technology firm, and this is a Wireshark protocol analysis tip. This is a very common thing I, I get asked about all the time, and I'm looking at a trace file and it just popped up, and I thought, hey, you know what? This would make a quick video or article and help somebody else out. So here's my trace file. Uh, this is, uh, and I always say my preference is not to use Wireshark in the way that you see it on my screen. It's uh, very confusing and it's very hard to get anything done because there's just too much. So the first thing I want to do is just pare this screen down a little bit just to make it easier for my brain cells and yours. First thing we're going to do is that you have a three pane display. This top one is called the packet list, the middle one is called the packet details, and the bottom one is called the packet bytes. For this example, I know I don't need the bytes, this bottom pane here. In most cases, I don't want this center one either, the actual packet details. But in this case, we're going to leave the list, we're going to leave the details, we're going to get rid of the bytes. So view, click, and packet bytes. Doink. Done. So now we just have the packet list and the details on the screen. For the people who have the colors up, and again, I'm not a big fan of the colors until you need them for something specific, but many people don't mind having them up. If you have them up, you'll notice there's a lot of black and red, this green stuff. And the first question I get asked is, what does all that mean? <laughs> well, you're going to have to go read what the rules say, because the rules, you may have modified them. And the rules are simply going to say, if this protocol, this color. If you see this thing, this color. And in this case, this black and red is this transmission control protocol, TCP, comes up and it's pink or salmon for the people who want to be specific we're gonna take this panel up we're gonna open up TCP and you're gonna move down until you see it red again and there it is it says the checksum is incorrect and this is where people start to lose their minds they say we have packet uh, corruption issues we gotta fix it what do we do tone and and here's the thing I'm gonna make it real easy this packet is apparently uh, corrupted to use your words and it's not it, to be honest, the checksum is not calculated yet, and Wireshark captured it before the checksum was calculated. That's what this TCP checksum offloading means. It means TCP is not calculating the checksum, it's being done at your card, in firmware, in hardware, that type of thing. So this is a red herring, but I want you to examine, examine the packets and understand why that's not the case. Because you may run into a scenario where it is the case, right? So I don't want you just to blindly ignore it all the time. So here's my TCP packet. It's a SYN packet. And apparently the checksum's incorrect. Now if that was really incorrect, if that was done um, in firmware incorrectly, because there has been driver bugs I've run into where that's legitimate. And if that checksum was wrong and it goes out through the network, then whoever inspects this at the TCP layer would see the checksums incorrect and they would discard the packet. So let's assume it hits some sort of proxy, some kind of firewall, whatever. And all of a sudden it checks that, throws it out, the other end's not going to get it. So you would not see the other end replying with a SYNAC. And because we see the SYNAC come back and we see it at a reasonable amount of time, in this case 52 milliseconds, that packet is not corrupted. And you might say, well maybe that one made it and the other ones are all having issues. All right, let's find out. And you'll see the same one here. Get HTTP 1.1. Again, checksum's incorrect, but nevertheless, there's our reply. So you really need to just take a few seconds, look at the packet, look at the header, look where the CRC is being miscalculated, because that could have been at the IP layer, and then find out if you're getting a response. If you are, don't worry about it, right? And if you are going to say, don't worry about it, and you don't want this constant pink thing to come up on the screen, um, actually, let me show you one last thing before I do that, because I just had a thought. Expert information. So if you go to analyze expert information, see this is error. Bad checksums. 4,792. If I really had 4,792 corrupted packets out of a total of 11,000, that's almost half, things wouldn't be working, right? But they are. They're working just fine. There we go. So if you want to get rid of this little pink line, this checksum issue, right click. And uh, see, this is going to be tough because if you scroll down this, I know you're not going to see it, but if you just scroll down past this box here, you'll see protocol preferences. And you know what? Let me just try it one more time by sliding this guy up. See if that, if that helps me out here. Okay, so checksum, right click. Yeah, there you go. That worked better. And you'll see protocol preferences, and it says validate 
TCP checksum if possible. As soon as you uncheck that, then that pink line goes away. If you go to statistics, analyze, expert information, gone. See that? So don't fall for that because I get that asked quite a bit of time. You know, what's going on? How do I fix my packet issues? And in this case, if you pay attention to my Mac addresses, you'll see it's VMware to VMware. So I'm capturing this within virtual machines, which is very likely that the checksum is not being calculated. But again, this could happen in many different ways. Just understand how to make sure it is or is not an issue. There you go, folks. Have a good day. Bye for now.